a welcome. Pastor Jeff, another daily word, capital W. And I'm doing this word in front of this uh, wonderful print I have of President Washington, Valley Forge, um, Christmas time, 1776. His army was defeated uh, soundly in earlier battles. He's praying for the wisdom of the Holy Spirit, very devout Christian. And so he's a great model for you and me today at a time when the enemy is trying so very hard to bring fear in this pandemic, the Lord is on the throne. Jesus said in Matthew 28, 18, all, all, you don't need to be a theologian to figure out the root of that word. Every single piece, all authority has been given to me, the risen Christ says, in heaven and on earth. So he's in charge. He allowed this pandemic, and it has given us plenty of time to look at how to resolve a pandemic, a plague. The answer is given. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 13 and 14. 13 says, when I, and this is the, this is the Lord God Almighty speaking to Solomon and to you and me today, when I... Um, close up the heavens and there's no rain, or when I send locusts, or when I send pestilence or a plague. If, big word there, if my people called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, and fourth element, turn from their wicked ways. Then, another big word, I will hear, the Lord says, from heaven, forgive their sin and heal their land. Well, in the United States, we did have such a day in 1849, the then President Taylor, um, seeing a cholera epidemic, killing tens of thousands of people, many more than are now dead in the United States by this coronavirus 19. At one point, the total got up to 150,000 people. That's about a three times the number we have now in 2020 with this virus. President Taylor called for a day of humiliation, fasting, and prayer, as had many presidents before him. In fact, we go all the way back to the pilgrims facing a drought. Second Chronicles 7.13, they knew what to do. Verse 14, they humble themselves, they call for a day of prayer, fasting, and, and confession of their sins, humiliation. Later that afternoon, the rain poured down. Gentle rain fell, said the head of that colony, Mr. Bradford. And so that's the, that's the response. But sadly, we have today people that are politically ignorant or, or um, bullheaded or just don't know the scriptures or some combination of all three or whatever it is. God is out of the equation in many nations, but, but you and I are being brought back at the grassroots, including an event that's happening on May 1st, a global day of repentance. And I just checked the numbers. There are about 335 people as of my taping this today and on noon on April 30th, Pacific Standard Time, in 17 nations that have individually come forward and said on May 1st, in the 24 hour window, starting at one, uh, starting at noon in Jerusalem time, in those 24 hours, they will take time to spend with the Lord. They will, just much like Nehemiah chapter one, they will. Uh, confess their own sins, the sins of their family, and the sins of their nation, whether it's Japan, Peru, Israel, Uganda, Kenya, um, Malawi, which we honor by having years of national repentance. We are honoring them first. So go to that website, by the way. It's www.globalrepent.com dot com and uh, 
see those nations lit up on the homepage on the globe. Canada, United States, United Kingdom, um, Ireland, Netherlands, France, and uh, Australia, New Zealand, and uh, Mozambique. And forgive me if I've forgotten a few. We even have a gentleman from Hong Kong. So we debated whether or not China should be on that map too. But in short, it's us, the grassroots, we the grassroots people who will be bringing repentance and God willing, it will come up to our national leaders and we will have people like George Washington in the snow, humble and seeking God's wisdom. By the way, that's a wonderful story. If you know what American history at all, the very next day, the plan that the Holy Spirit gave to General Washington was to go out on Christmas Day, cross the Delaware River, and surprise the, the Hessian soldiers that were there uh, under the King of England as uh, mercenaries. They had partied the night before, drinking way too much uh, cognac or brandy, whatever they were drinking, so they were totally surprised. And Washington basically captured a thousand people, thousand men, won that victory. The only people that he lost were to snow bite, <laughs> frost, snow, freezing in the snow, a couple of men. Um, they were that, that what ragged a group, didn't even have food or, or shoes. Those couple of people were lost in the, in the campaign. So God is in that same place today. He loves the, the humble. He, he blesses the humble. That's our lesson for today. Look at the Lord. He gives blessings to those of us in the small people, and he loves small beginnings. So here we are starting with a Gideon army of more than 300, bringing repentance back, bringing the Lord back as number one in our nations. Really the very first um, national sin. Yes, it could well be killing of innocents, but the number one is failing to follow the house of David, failing to follow God's holy words as the guideline for our nation. So we're starting. Join us. God bless you. Until next time.